Room to Roam is very much about people and sustainable development in Africa, aimed at maintaining this matrix of connected landscapes. There are 12 of them from East Africa all the way down to Southern Africa to the Kruger National Park. The reality is we now know what the landscapes are, but how do we ensure that these landscapes remain viable for elephants and other wildlife? If we want to achieve the goal of Room to Roam, we have to work with partners on the ground. I4 cannot achieve this on its own. We do have partnerships with other NGOs, with the donor community, with governments. We have to have agreements in place with governments at the highest level, which allows us to get on the ground and do what we need to do on the ground. One of the biggest threats in these landscapes for elephants is poaching. A large part of our work is focused on capacity building initiatives, bringing different law enforcement agencies together so that they're all working in one direction to be able to protect the resources in the park. Room to Roam is as much about elephants and maintaining stable and viable elephant populations as it is about people. For I4, it's critically important that we engage local communities. We cannot see conservation in a vacuum. People are part of the solution. Elephants spend a lot of their time outside formal protected areas in the same places where people live. Really the emphasis in working with local communities is to keep them safe. That's the primary goal. The issue with elephants and people coexisting is that one of the outcomes of coexistence is conflict. While elephants and people have coexisted for many, many years, there are now more people in Africa and there's more impact on the habitats where elephants live. Then it's all about land use. How do we protect the land for both the people and the elephants. And so to promote coexistence, local communities have to be key stakeholders and partners in helping us to achieve our goals for elephants and other wildlife.